I think we can all agree that the most iconic ball ever created is this bad boy right here. The Luxo Ball, aka the Pixar Ball. It's made countless appearances throughout films created by Pixar since all the way back in the 80s. As well as their own films, it's popped up all over the place and in other productions too. It might be impossible to reference every single appearance it has ever made. But that's a mountain I'm going to try climb today. So let's strap in for, hopefully, the most comprehensive video on the topic ever made. Ah! Also, before anyone says, ah, you didn't add this film. I know, I know, because this video is going to be outdated as soon as Pixar release a new film. The first appearance of the Luxo Ball and where it got its lesser known name was from the Pixar short in 1986 called Luxo Jr. It was one of Pixar's earliest successes and as such has stuck around a symbol of their studio's earlier days. You can't really count this short film as one of the ball's cameo appearances since it was the little guy's debut but it's for sure worth mentioning at the top. I have seen the vast majority of these films I'm about to mention, and yes, I had no idea the ball was hidden in most of these. Let's uncover them all right from the beginning. Yeah! 1987, Red Stream. Red Stream is another one of Pixar's short animated films, which tells the story of a unicycle named Red, who is a part of a bike shop's inventory. He's a sad and lonely character, what a loser. He's a sad and lonely character with big dreams of being... With big... With big dreams of being... I'm sorry, that shouldn't be funny. With big dreams of being a star of the circus. Even though this is the first cameo appearance of the Luxo Ball, it's actually not shown in a format of a ball at all. If you look closely at the surface here, you'll instantly recognize the iconic color palette and star symbol. Wow. 1995 Toy Story! This one is much less subtle. Sup Bubbly Boys, I just wanted to jump in here real quick to announce the newly updated Patreon page I've just finished making. Shirts, stickers, posters, early access, and your very own Wobbly Boy. There is so much packed in over there now. For a while it was sitting there mostly dormant, but now it's alive! <laughs> Things like Patreon and merch stores is what literally keeps small channels like mine alive, so I just want to say thank you to anyone who wants to get involved. However, I also want to say there is absolutely no pressure if you can't afford to. The world is very expensive. Watching my videos is still more than I can ever ask for, and I just really appreciate you all. Thanks for sticking around. Let's get back to the video. Pixar's first ever feature film was Toy Story, which for a lot of us is a childhood classic. At the time, this movie was groundbreaking, being the first collaboration between Pixar and Disney, and being the first ever feature length film to be completely computer animated. I mean, just look at the dogs in the film. Groundbreaking technology! The Luxo Ball assumes the role of just another toy laying around in Andy's room, except this one wasn't alive when left alone, which Buzz bounces off during this sequence. <laughs> Can you just imagine the Luxo Ball trying to be part of the Toy Story gang? Like, growing a face, arms and legs and just living it up? I think they would have murdered him. I'm sure we all would have noticed that one if we were watching it today, since it's pretty front and centre. 1999, Toy Story 2. Toy Story keeps the tradition alive by including the iconic ball in the sequel. While Buzz and friends are searching for Woody, it can clearly be seen off to the side here. Again, wouldn't take a detective to spot. 2001 Monsters Inc. Just like Andy from Toy Story, Monsters Inc. also displays the iconic Luxo ball in a child's bedroom setting. The film's concept is quite funny when you step back and look at it. Monsters Incorporated being a super successful screen processing factory. Personally, I think this movie is one of the more creative ones. One of the many screen producers in the factory is a little girl named Boo who is in possession of this toy as we see when Sully is led into the room in this shot here. Also, another thing Pixar loves to do are hide easter eggs into their movies for their next upcoming Pixar movie. So in this case, after Monsters Inc, it's Finding Nemo! 2003 Finding Nemo! One of those movies I watched a billion times as a kid. You may be thinking, with the film taking place in the ocean and all, 
Where on earth could they squeeze in a Luxembourg cameo? <gasps> P. Sherman 42, Wallaby Way City. AKA the dentist's office. In this scene, there's a toy box which possesses other Easter eggs, including Buzz Lightyear himself, but we can just about see the ball peeking through the top of the overfilled box. 2004 The Incredibles. Now, this one is hard to find, so much so that if you try to do it yourself, you might not even get it on your screen at any point because it only appears in an alternate opening sequence in black and white. Much harder without the famous colors to attract our attention. Attention. Another related sighting is in Jack Jack Attack, which is a five minute short release alongside The Incredibles, detailing the origin of Baby Jack Jack's superpowers. 2008 Presto! Presto is a funny short film that was screened in cinemas before viewing Wally. -E. Wally. -E. <laughs> The ball is seen falling out of Presto's sleeve. Speaking of Wally, -E, a bonus appearance of the Luxo Ball is actually in the artwork for the Criterion Collection 4K Blu ray release of the film. Right here. 2009 Up! This cameo is a little better hidden and a tad bit more creative in my opinion. In Up, the boy named Russell is a junior wilderness explorer, so like a boy scout, and so he has a sash full of badges to acknowledge his achievements. You might have to look extra close, but right here you will be able to find exactly what you're looking for. It actually appears a second time, briefly in a neighbor's home as the balloons ascend outside her window. 2010 Toy Story 3! Another one that's hard to spot, but when we see a cluster of small imagery like this, we know we've got to spend some time analyzing. These are all tiles laid on the wall outside of the Sunnyside daycare facility, and over on the right here is the evasive symbol once again not in the form of a natural ball, which always makes things harder. It appears much more noticeably in the end credits too, where Chuck and Jack in a Box are using it to play a game of volleyball in the sandbox. 2012 Brave! This one kind of feels like a bit of a stretch to me, but I've got to include it just in case. In this scene here, amongst the wood carvings, there's a particular one which some viewers say it is a reference to the elusive Luxo Ball. Yeah, I'd take it with a grain of salt to be honest with you. 2012 Monsters University! In Monsters University, the prequel to Monsters Inc., when the monsters begin to play the scare games, the ball appears as graffiti on the wall among the other drawings of toys. Fun fact, this film is the only ever time that Pixar has ever made a prequel movie. So far, anyway. 2013 Toy Story of Terror! This is a 21 minute television special obviously based on the popular Toy Story films. The toys find themselves on a road trip with their owner Bonnie and her family and end up staying at a roadside motel for the night where some of them mysteriously go missing. The ball symbol can be found stamped under the sink where Combat Carl and Jesse hide. 2013 Toy Story That Time Forgot! I was aware of the previous horror themed Toy Story short, but I didn't know this was a thing until I did the research for this video. A quick Google search tells me that it's a post Christmas play date and the toys have to go up against the fearsome and aggressive new dino toys. Interesting. Anyway, when the toys are looking at a poster, the recognizable symbol is placed at the bottom of the design by the age rating here, as well as on the Battlesaurs toy boxes as part of their branding. 2015 Inside Out. The ball makes a brief appearance in Inside Out during a flashback sequence from Riley's childhood. Just one of her toys sitting in the room. Nothing special going on here. 2015 The Good Dinosaur. Remember that scene when literally a toddler gets high with a dinosaur? Yeah, that one. While it's easy to be distracted by all this, if you look in the back, there you will notice the ball chilling in the background. 2016, Finding Dory. While Dory is trying to save her parents from captivity in the quarantine area at Marine Life Institute, on the steering wheel of the truck, we can easily spot the iconic symbol. 2017, Cars 3. It's here. If anyone actually watched this film, they would have spotted it. 2017, Coco. The appearance in Cars 3 sucked, 
But luckily, in the same year, Coco came along to properly continue the legacy of the Luxo Ball. In the scene where Dante has a scuffle with the spirit guide monkey, it can be seen on the table in the background. Much more creatively though, it's reformatted as a luchador mask on sale at this store in the short Dante's Lunch. 2018 Incredibles 2. Jack-Jack's crib has a design on the side of it, which includes, you guessed it, the iconic Luxo Ball. 2019 Toy Story 4. These seem to be the movies where we're guaranteed some cheeky cameos, but this fourth installment is no exception. In fact, they're spammed in this film. Look at all these stickers. It then appears once more when we get a bird's eye view of the antique store. 2020 onward. There's a shield in this movie that's hung up in the background of the tavern area. Need I say more? 2020 Soul! This one is pretty well hidden, once again not shown with the bright recognisable colours we're all used to seeing. It's sitting in the background of 22's home after they visit the Hall of Everything, shown pretty much only as a white line drawing. 2021 Luca! Once again, during a bird's eye view shot, the ball can be spotted chilling just here on a rooftop. Which character do you think booted it up here? 2022 Turning Red! Creatively being used as a pool toy and not just sitting in a child's bedroom like so many times before, we can see the ball floating in Tyler's pool as the characters fly past. 2023 Elemental! Wade's popcorn bucket includes a ball as part of the product logo whilst he and Amber watch a match at the Cyclone Stadium. And we're finished! With all the film appearances, that is. I said I wanted this to be comprehensive, so we're doing just that. Let's speed run the ball's appearances in advertising. It appears as one of the marbles in a Levi's commercial, surprisingly, called Woman Getting What She Wants from 1994. It's in a double feature trailer for Toy Story and Toy Story 2 in Disney Digital 3D. It's in the 2011 Cars-themed State Farm commercial on the Pet Trains. Weirdly, a shorter Sky Broadcast UK commercial promoting Toy Story that time forgot includes Includes it. A huge version of the ball is seen in promotional material for Toy Story Land. Now for video games, it's been included more times than I expected. It's hidden in images in the membership page of the World of Cars Online website. As expected, many instances in Toy Story 3 the video game, in the Toy Story 3 mini games Woody's Wild Adventure and Daycare Dash, the ball is a bonus. In the DS version of Toy Story 3, it is a collectible in-game currency required to unlock Unlock prizes. It's in the Connect Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure game. It's a badge in Merit Badge Mayhem. It appears in Ratatouille the video game. It's one of three collectibles required in Monsters Inc. Run to earn stars. It's seen as projectiles used by Buzz in Toy Story, Smash It. In Disney Infinity, it's seen as one of the two starter abilities for Woody, Buzz, and Jesse. It's an obstacle in the Inside Out playset in Disney Infinity 3.0. It's a building in the Toy Story world of Disney Cross. Road. It's seen in all the Pixar family build areas and packs in Lego The Incredibles. I will say I have played this game and there are a lot of them and you can play as different Pixar characters which is kind of cool. The ball can be summoned by Junior as an attack item and during the idle animation. It's a power up that could be created in Toy Story Drop. Also seen in the background in the letter O. I'm just realizing as a whole like Disney and Pixar they don't really make any video games anymore. I swear there used to be so many. And lastly, really quickly, some special mentions. In a Toy Story Treats episode called Alien Encounter, it can be discovered as well as in a web short for Inside Out where Bing Bong plays with it. The ball scene in Nick Jr.'s Blue's Clues looks exactly the same except the colours of the star and stripe are swapped. The ball scene in Nickelodeon's Rugrats looks exactly the same except the ball is green with an orange star and a blue stripe. The stripe is sometimes purple. However, However, the ball appears with its correct colours in the Rugrats section of the former Universal Ride Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast. News to me, in the Australian show Bluey, there's an appearance of the iconic ball. Huh? Creature Comforts by the iconic studio Ardman includes a ball with an identical design, just slightly different colours. Supposedly, the director even said adding the ball was a tribute to Pixar after noticing the dog wearing an Elizabethan collar looked a bit like a lamp. Remember, what is the Lexo Ball actually named after? 
<laughs> and that brings us full circle as that's currently all the information I have. As I said in the intro, listing every appearance is an impossible task, so if you know any that I have missed out on, please leave a comment below. Let's try and complete the whole list. 